Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the topic of uh, retaining wall. So first of all, we have to know what is a retaining wall. So retaining wall is a structure to retain any the material that is called the retaining wall. So uh, the retaining walls are usually built uh, to hold back the soil mass. Uh, however, the retaining walls can also constructed for aesthetic landscaping purpose also so in commonly in hilly regions we can see the retaining walls so retain the earth structure it prevent the soil from the landslides so this is the one type of retaining walls the gravity retaining walls so this is a back soil uh, then this is ground level one uh, then this is ground level two so this is another example of retaining wall there is cantilever retaining wall so in cantilever retaining wall there is a uh, stem portion of that in stem portion there is a batter uh, then uh, uh, the drainage hole is there so drainage hole is helps to drain the water from the soil uh, then the heel slab is there then toe slab also is there so then uh, then sear key is provided so the sear key is uh, mainly the purpose of sear key is uh, to prevent the sliding of retaining wall so this is the main uh, advantage of uh, sear key so now we can see the classification of retaining wall there are four type of classification is there so first one is uh, gravity retaining wall so uh, then uh, second one is cantilever retaining wall third one is counter fort retaining wall and uh, buttress retaining wall so there are four types of retaining walls there so in uh, gravity retaining wall the earth structure will be retained by the gravity itself so it's a uh, constructed uh, by the plane or uh, masonry wall plain concrete or masonry work then cantilever retaining wall and counter fort retaining wall we can use the uh, reinforced cement concrete uh, it's reinforced with steel so these retaining walls are very much important and uh, we commonly use the retaining walls in the uh, hilly regions so these are all the pictorial representation of classification of retaining walls the first one is uh, uh, is a gravity retaining wall so second one is t-shaped retaining wall uh, then l-shaped retaining wall so the backfill is uh, retained by the l-shape and uh, uh, then say the counter fort retaining walls in particular uh, distance there are the counter fort over there uh, then cantilever retaining wall it uh, it also uh, prevent the soil from the sliding so then now the earth pressure so there are two type of pressure acting on the retaining wall so the first one is active earth pressure then second one is uh, passive earth pressure whenever the structure is retaining the uh, soil so the retaining soil pressure is called uh, active earth pressure uh, in the opposite direction there will be the uh, equivalent and opposite reactions and also there is a downstream side there is a soil over here so this pressure is called passive earth pressure so in earth pressure is the pressure exerted by the retaining material or soil so this pressure is uh, help to design the retaining wall so active earth pressure tend to uh, deflect the wall away from the backfill so this is a main load over there so we have to design the structure uh, to arrest the active earth pressure so now the factors affecting earth pressures so earth pressure depends on the type of backfill uh, then height of wall and the soil condition so these things are main uh, important thing we have to consider uh, while designing the uh, designing the retaining wall because uh, the earth pressure is divinely depends upon the type of soil and uh, what the backfill over there uh, then the height of wall so if the high if the height of wall is very high so the pressure also will be more so then soil condition in the different soil condition so the dry leveled backfill then moist level backfill so then submerged backfill as there there then leveled backfill with uniform surcharge and backfill with sloping surface so for example you can take the retaining wall so this is a one type of retaining wall so from that so the uh, here the soil is there so if the soil is dry that is called uh, gamma d so that is a dry unit weight uh, if the soil uh, if the soil has moisture so if the soil has moisture content so that will be the gamma saturation for example here the water table is uh, up to the uh, top of the uh, up to the top of retaining walls that will be the gamma saturation so that uh, sorry gamma submerged so that will be the submerged backfill uh, then uh, next one is uh, the uniform surcharge uh, so if the backfill uh, if the backfill has a surcharge over there so that is called uniform surcharge if the soil has a uh, slopey surf, uh, surface so that will be the uh, called the slopey surface so the so that will be called backfill with sloping surface so if the uh, backfill surface over like this so that will be called the sloping surface of backfill 
so now we consider the pressure of the retaining wall so if case we consider the dry back fills so the maximum pressure at the height of a uh, height uh, p equal to ka into gamma into h so ga is equal to uh, the active earth pressure the coefficient of active earth pressure that is 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi then gamma is equal to dry unit weight uh, if case there will be a uh, saturation over there so it uh, we can put uh, gamma uh, it we can put gamma saturation in of gamma so then h equal to height so the total pressure at any height from the top so p is equal to half into k a into gamma into h into h so that will be the uh, area so half into b into h so that's why we can put off into b values a k a into gamma into h then h values h so we can uh, get the value of k a into h square divided by 2 so now the bending moment at any height is equal to p a into h by 3 because uh, uh, this slopey surface so h by 3 distance we can get the maximum bending moment now the bending moment equal to k a into gamma into h cube divided by 6 now the total pressure equal to ka gamma h square divided by 2 so we know the formula uh, then the total bending moment at bottom equal to ka into gamma h cube divided by 6 so this is uh, a uh, formula we have to know uh, for, while designing the retaining wall so we already told uh, k is equal to coefficient of active earth pressure that is 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi that is equal to tan square phi uh, so for passive earth pressure 1 by kp equal to active earth pressure that is coefficient of passive earth pressure so we know phi equal to angle of internal friction and gamma is equal to unit weight of or density of backfill. For example, if phi equal to 30 degree, uh, Ka equal to 1 by 3 and Kp equal to 3, thus uh, Ka is uh, 10 times more than of Kp. So this is the Ka formula for uh, sloping uh, sloping surface. So Ka is equal to cos theta, cos theta minus root of cos square theta uh, minus cos square theta divided by cos theta plus cos square uh, theta minus cos square theta. So for retaining wall, uh, after designing, we have to check the uh, three three important uh, factors. So that is uh, uh, that is check for overturn, then check for slide, and uh, uh, and check for subsidence because whenever the height of retaining wall will be more it will be a possible for overturn and uh, if the active earth pressure is will be more uh, it will be uh so the retaining wall will be slide laterally so that's why we can provide the shear key and also there is a subsidence over there so that is a maximum pressure at the toe should not exceed the safe bearing capacity of soil under rocking condition because if the load is very high the safe bearing capacity will be low so that will be the reactive the retaining wall will be subsident uh, in that place so next thing uh, check uh, check against uh, overturning so the factor of safety against overturning the formula is mr divided by mo is gra is uh, greater than or equal to 1.55 uh, so that is uh, mr equal to stabilizing moment or restoring moment mo equal to overturning moment so as per is456 mr is uh, great uh, mr is greater than 1.2 of mo so next thing is uh, check against sliding so uh, check against sliding uh, the FOS factor of safety is equal to resisting force to the sliding divided by horizontal force causing the sliding so that is uh, uh, mu into mu into summation of W divided by PA is greater than uh, greater than or equal to 1.55 uh, so that is equal to 1.4 divided by 0 0.9 as per IS uh, 456 1.4 equal to mu into 0 0.9 summation of w divided by pa so that is a check for sliding so uh, if the shear key is provided over here so the sliding will be arrested so this step is mainly based on whenever the check for sliding is not satisfied the condition so the shear key will be provided so shear key designs over there so we can provide the design key as for the uh, sliding moment so now the minimum depth of foundation so the if I as per ranking formula df is equal to sbc divided by gamma into 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi the whole square so uh, so 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi is called the active with pressure so that is ka so we can substitute df equal to sbc divided by gamma into ka square so this is the formula we can use to find out the minimum depth of foundation so these are all the important factors we have to consider in the retaining wall. Again we will see next video. Thank you.